This video is about sitemaps. In your 10-page site, you have to have a sitemap. It does not count as one of your 10 pages. It is extra. And a sitemap is no more than a table of contents. And on bigger sites, you may actually see um, the footer act more like a sitemap. But I would like you guys to create a page an individual page right now as a sitemap. So a sitemap is kind of like a table of contents and it might not show every single page on the site. In your case it will since you only have 10 pages. But um, on a bigger site like MCC site you can see we have programs and degrees and then they've got these little areas here and students and then ASMCC and then categories within that so um, it's a table of contents to get to the main areas of a site if it's a huge site. It could be all of the pages on your site if it's a small site. There's also a thing called a Google sitemap, which we don't talk about in this semester. That has to do with search engine optimization and helping the search engines find all the pages on your site. I do that in the spring in 192. Um, Usually the link to the sitemap is at the bottom of the page, like it is here. On Peach Pit Press, which has just tons and tons and tons of books, all sorts of digital learning books, that kind of thing, they have a sitemap and it is at the bottom of the website, like most sitemaps are, and then it breaks um, everything down into categories. They have way more pages than this. This just gets the person, if the nav isn't making sense, this is another way of breaking things down. So in your case, if you have like a home page, an about page, maybe a sub page of about might be like this, might be contact, uh, or maybe you just have a home about contact, and then maybe you have a gallery, and so maybe then you have, you know, the galleries, and maybe you have photography, and maybe you have pages for that, and then you have another gallery for illustration and pages for that. Or maybe it just says, you know, portfolio pages, and then you just under there, like here, portfolio, and then you might have illustration, photography, etc. So a sitemap is a table of contents. It's a way where someone doesn't have to work with the nav bars to find extra content. And on a really small site, what you do then with a sitemap is you might have an explanation, a little like one sentence explanation about what a person could find on that page too. You can elaborate a little bit but you don't have to do that, only if it makes sense.